Once there was a man called Sam, and he lived in a place where everybody played music and sang songs and told stories. And he loved to listen, but he'd never felt like he really belonged because he didn't have a story of his own to tell. And one day, Sam decided to go for a walk. He would go to a place where he could be himself and be at peace. The sun was shining and the sky was blue. And Sam walked down towards the woodlands. And as he walked through, the sunlight come down through the branches and leaves. And as he carried on, he come to a clearing. And in the clearing was an oak tree that he sat down beside. And soon, Sam slowly drifted off until he went into a deep sleep. Sam woke up and the wind was blowing so hard from east to west and thunder started crackling, the storm started brewing and it was so, he was so confused. All of a sudden, it started raining, blah, 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 blah. Rain started falling down and it began getting wet. Uh, he was so lost, he was trying to find his way. It was beginning to get cold. The wind was blowing, he was turning his back to protect himself from the wind. And then all of a sudden he saw a light and he decided to follow the light. And as he followed the light, he went through the storm until he came to a cottage. And he knocked on the cottage. And slowly the door opened. And there he stepped back. Because there in front of him was this little old lady with grey hair running down to her knees and a face so yellow that her teeth was yellow and black. But yet there was a sparkle in her eye. And Sam looked past her and he could see people were playing music, people were having fun and more inviting he could see the light coming from an open fire and candles were lit on the table. So Sam entered the cottage. Sam went in and found himself a place by the fire and dried himself off. And then the little old lady, she turned around and she addressed everyone and she said, tonight is a special night. Tonight we have a storytelling competition and whoever tells the most incredible story will win this golden plate. And everyone chattered and everyone was excited and then everything went quiet. And the old lady said, who has a story? I have a story. When I was a little girl, my dad used to take us to an event in Nigeria called Ayo Festival. Ayo Festival is a prominent cultural and traditional Yoruba festival. This, it's like a carnival. People come from all over Nigeria to, to watch this festival. Even the kings, the judges, people in high ranks in Nigeria, they're part of this festival. I used to enjoy it so much. In this festival, they used to sing, one of, this is one of the songs they sing. Hey yo, hey yo, hey yo, hey yo, hey yo, Baba Sawa, so if you go lose it, I want only someone to be there. Oh, delay, I miss 
is so much. I wish I could see more of it. This is the end of my story. My name is John and I have a story. When I was a little boy, my dad used to bring me hunting rabbits. And he'd bring their ferrets and the nets, we'd put them over the borough. And she was just waiting then on time. And then that night, we, when we all laid down, we laid down with a full stomach. That's my story, thank you for listening. And I have a story. Along the road, I met a woman and she told me that she turned into a beautiful blue parrot and she had flown across the sea and there she had ended up in a forest, a wild forest where she met a pygmy tribe and they had love in their hearts and they knew how to be with nature. They could hear when the ants were coming and they knew to step aside. And then she stayed with them a little while and then she flew back across the sea and she transformed back into a woman and she told me the story, which is how I am telling you the story today. And all along, Sam's heart was beating. His heart was beating because it was his turn to say his story. Everyone turned his, their eyes towards Sam, waiting him to say his story. His hands were sweating and his knees, you know, were trembling because he didn't have a story. He was so confused. Then the old woman turned to Sam and told him, well, Sam, it's your turn. You've got to tell us your story. And then Sam said, well, I don't have a story. I can't tell a story. His heart was still beating. And then the old woman told him, Sam, well, you either have to tell us a story or you have to take up a challenge. And then Sam said, well, I'll take up the challenge. Yeah. Then the old woman told him, Sam, then what you need to do is you, you need to walk out of the cottage into the woods, down the hill. You will come across a pier. And into the pier, there will be a rope tied there. And at the end of the rope, there will be something there you have to go and get it and bring it back to us. So Sam decided to walk out of the cottage. And as he walked out of the cottage, he closed the door and he leaned back. He saw that the storm had gone and the full moon was up in the sky. So he headed down to the woodlands and carried on down the hill. And there at the bottom was the pond with the moonlight shining away on the water. And as he went along the pier, he had to be careful because it was all green and slimy. And he came across what he knew was the rope. But yet he could hear frogs around him. An owl up in a tree and as he pulled the rope slowly and slowly towards him suddenly the frog jumped up on him and he fell back into the water into the darkness Sam woke up and found himself along the shore of a pond he was wet he was tired he was confused he was in a completely different place. As he lifted his head up, he saw a man and a woman approach him. The man was very helpful. He spoke to him in a language he didn't understand. The man asked him, Oh, abari yako kaka, unafanya nini hapa? Ah, umeka hapa tangu wa subui? He didn't understand the language. And then, within a minute, a woman came who happened to be the man's sister also spoke to him in a different language. All she was trying to do is to help Sam. Well, Sam was helpless. He needed help though, but he felt like these people were very welcoming and willing to help him. So Sam decided to go with them 
and some became part of the community, a different community, did different things. Some akasafiri katika inchi zingine, akawa mtu ambaye anatambulika katika jamii, akakuwa anaenda kanisa nao kila jumapili, akakuwa jumamosi anaenda kuendesha baiskeli na marafiki zake. And then one day he fell in love with a woman in the community and they had three sons. Some even took his sons to the best school in the community that he wanted. His sons were educated. They made friends. And years went by and years and days went by and time kept going. And then one day Sam decided to walk into the woods. So he decided to take a walk. And he came across a pond which he recognized and he said, I recognize this pond. So he went there, sat close to the pond, as he was reflecting upon his life, and years had gone, many years had passed by. All of a sudden, Sam heard some noise coming from the woods behind him, and there were footsteps, somebody was running, somebody was running. As he looked behind, he saw one of the sun who came running and jumped into the pond and disappeared. Within no minute, the second son came. First, ran, ran, jumped into the pond, disappeared. And the third one came, did the same, jumped into the pond and disappeared. The wife, the friends, the same. Well, he was so confused. What Sam decided to do, he jumped into the pond himself and everything went dark. And Sam woke up. The first thing that he noticed was that full moon up in the sky and the last raindrops falling off the leaves. But then Sam realized, what just happened? Where was I? And he looked down at his hands and realized, these weren't old man's hands, these were young hands. And then he looked down into the reflection of the water and he saw what he thought was going to be grey hair, but it was his hair, dark and black, like it was when he was young. And Sam started to get frightened, wondering what happened. And then he started to panic and he started to run. And he ran up that hill as fast as he could. And he ran through the woodlands and he came across the cottage. And he ran in, slamming the door open and entered the cottage. And everybody stared at him. And the old woman said, Sam, Sam, did you think bring the thing at the end of the rope? And he said, no, you don't understand. And he started to explain and she said, slow down, tell us what happened. And so Sam told his story. And when he had finished, some people smiled and some people cried, but everybody clapped. And then the old woman said, Sam, that was the most incredible story. I think we can all agree that you win the storytelling prize. And from that day on, Sam always had a story to tell. Katika safari hiyo, ungependa kukutana na nani katika maisha Sam? Well, what I just said is, along the road, who would you have loved to meet? And what is your story? 